is going on guys it is a very interesting day so I'm on my way to pick up a new project car um, a lot of time and consideration has gone into this of understanding that I need something else um, and trying to figure out what I wanted so it's probably a car that none of you guys would expect me to own which is slightly entertaining but neither is a Miata if you looked at me um, but I'm currently driving two hours away to go pick it up. Uh, it is going to be basically the replacement of the Miata. Um, I'm outgrowing the Miata chassis. The car is just too small. I can't really fit in it that well and fit all the stuff that I want to fit in it. Um, and, you know, running the times that I'm running, my roll cage is only certified for 850s and slower. Um, I can guarantee the car is going to go faster in a couple months. Um, but I'm like for drag week and such, I cannot run the car past its chassis cert. A lot of races you can, like TX2K, I might be able to, or FL2K, I can race past tech uh, chassis cert. But when it comes down to like drag week and stuff like that, they're really strict on tech to where if I'm only started for 850 and slower, if I, I won't be able to turn it at 849. So. The purpose of the car that I'm buying is to build a better chassis, basically have a 6.0 certified roll cage. The car will never go sixes. Um, I'll never say never, but I have zero intentions of the car actually going sixes, but I want to build a good chassis underneath it. Uh, that way I have plenty of room to grow and ultimately I can have a mid seven second street car in the years to come. Um, this is kind of something I want to buy and figure the build would probably take four, five, six years maybe uh, just because of how elaborate I will make it. Um, and I still want to have the Miata as my number one race car right now. Um, I, I don't have any intentions of having two cars up and running together. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but nonetheless, I am supposed to be there in like a half hour. So uh, whenever I get there, I'll show you guys. quite sure if you can see it I know it's kind of like might be hard to see but I did pick it up so it's a uh, it's gonna be a good starting point it's a very clean car um, obviously it's aged it's a 2004 but uh, I think it's a great 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 blank canvas for what I am intending to do so without further ado here is the new project guys this is my 2004 Mazda RX-8 I just picked it up as you see I mean, it's got you know, a couple dings here and there but I mean the actual body itself is very straight you know, I, I do not plan on keeping the bumpers or nothing um, I'm probably gonna switch over to a, a second gen RX-8 um, front end the rear end it's already got the taillights I like I guess they call them series two um and yeah this is the car i mean obviously paint damage and stuff like that which i don't care about because of what i'm doing with this car like i said this will be a torn down race car um it currently does not have a trans or, i'm sorry it doesn't have an engine in it i bought it without an engine it does have a transmission six-speed manual so basically i'm going to take the car part it out get rid of the seats get rid of the interior uh get rid of the transmission stuff that i don't need um, and that'll be what's going on with the car now. Um, but it is a very good starting piece. Um, I paid $800 as the car sits. Like I said, it's an 04. It's got nav. Um, fortunately, I don't think. Uh oh, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. It does not have it. Oh, no, it does. It does have the moonroof. Damn it. I guess they all do. I don't know. 
All right, sorry, I went into one of my sneeze attacks. I parked here because a little dirt lot, but this was the coolest place on my way home. So I just wanted to show the car before I get it home. I want to get it off the trailer, go through the interior, and I will show you guys more when I get home. Alrighty, so it's the next morning. I finally got it off the trailer and unloaded. Just wanted a little quick walk around. So as I said, it's got a complete engine bay with no tra or no engine. Most of the wiring looks like it's here. Actually, I think the engine harness is off, but the rest of the chassis stuff is here. I did see there was a couple plugs unconnect or disconnected in the ECU box. So I would assume those are engine related. Uh, let's see here, let's open the doors. So, I mean, it's got a decent interior. I definitely want to sell the seats front and rear because I'm not going to use any of it. But I mean, they are in pretty good shape. They just need to be cleaned. Uh, it does have nav, but the nav screen's all screwed up. I don't know the condition underneath this cover. Let's pull this off. Oh man, I can't get the cover off. Ah, whoa, wow. The steering wheel is actually in really good shape. Holy crap, okay, well that's good. And I know those splines fit a Miata, so I wonder if uh, any Miata guys want to buy it. You know, it's got the coin purse and all the other doodads. I made sure the average RX-8. Um, it does have a no brain or a no name exhaust on it, so I'll try to figure out what it is or post up for sale for cheap just to get rid of it. But yeah, this is the, uh, the new project. Let's, uh, I mean, you've seen how far I've taken the Miata. Let's see how far I can take this RX-8. So stay tuned guys. I'll uh, not gonna work on it all the time. It'll be little updates after little updates, um, but it is something I am pretty motivated for. So I have an idea of what I want as the end result. Just gotta take the time and do it. So I'm not stopping working on the Miata. The Miata is gonna be around for a while more. This will be a background project. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll check you later.